Yeah, what's poppin', y'all? It's your man, I am D Rich here, and I'm today bringing you a little bit of gameplay from one of my own braids, the Mr. Boob Man himself, and you will see him using, yeah, yeah, the boob tube. And he will also be teaching some of you guys out there that wanna know how to get a better KD. You wanna kinda cover an area, you wanna kinda less, less maybe, let's call it camping. But I'm gonna say this about my man right here. And we gen we generally play uh, domination. Like when I play with these guys, we play domination. And my man here will own one flag, sometimes two flags. From one point, he covers lines of sight. He holds down an area. He doesn't hold up a wall. You dig? So uh, let me just say that for him. If if you want to call this campy, I, you know I don't care. Whatever. It's not my gameplay. Uh, but. I don't think that's what he's doing. Uh, either way, it gets wins for me. Uh, he's on my squad, and uh, he's not hiding in a shadow. So I, you know, I'm gonna defend this uh, tooth and nail because uh, I think this is appropriate. Uh, either way, you know, watch and learn because you're seeing a professional at work. My man right here, I can say this: he has not played Modern Warfare 2 seriously for over a year. He could put the game in this afternoon and go drop two or three nukes on people. Uh, the man's got mad skills, and uh, you know, it's just the way it is. Uh, you know, we like to refer to him as Brian. We also call him Boob. He's also AKA the man with three legs, AKA Monster Balls, AKA Captain Tain Suit. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a compadre here. And uh, I appreciate him and a big shout out to uh, Rainy Dog for, uh, you know, letting me use some of your uh, some of your gameplays, guys. I appreciate that. This is just the first of a few. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'm going to get to do over the summer because I'm not playing Black Ops uh, because I don't like it. I, I just I, I, I can't say I don't like it. I do like it. I like it in spurts, though. I can't play Black Ops like I like I have been able to play the other Call of Duties. I think this game's on its last legs. I'm not going to get into that. You know, you guys have heard commentaries ad nauseum, uh, you know, about the problems of Black Ops. They all have their problems. Just the ones in this one particularly, uh, you know, really get under my skin. Like, the, it's the hit detection, more or less. Like, that's it. So, anyway, that's a whole different story altogether. I'm not going to get on into that any deeper. I'm going to leave that where it's at. Uh, you know, I, I said at the end of my last video that I was going to talk about Modern Warfare 3 or... I don't know, you know, legally if it's if it's supposed to refer to as MW3, you know, you got the whole uh, got the whole Infinity Ward uh, lawsuit thing going on. So for right now, just let me briefly talk about a couple of things that, that kind of piqued my interest to a degree. One was uh, a scavenge class, uh, what have you, that you replenish as claymores. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I think with uh, more and more casual gamers getting into playing these games, just like Black Ops brought in another, you know, probably. Uh, two or three million casual gamers uh, that don't really know how to move around a map and get kills don't know how to move around the map and play kind of accordingly to how the games are traditionally played I think if you get into replenishing claymores especially if you're gonna do stackable kill streaks I think you create an even worse camper problem and compounding that is the 18 kill streak nuke <clears throat> and uh, whatever the next step up and then of course the game ending uh, tactical nuke that is rumored to be in the game I uh, just think you know when you, you kind of you kind of set the standard for camping when you put stuff like that in, but whatever. Uh, I'm sure we'll we'll buy the game, play the game, and I can almost guarantee it's going to be more fun than this. I mean, I, I'm sorry, dude. I, I hate to give Treyarch a hard time, but I think Infinity Ward uh, makes a better Call of Duty. So I don't know. I just I hope they've got some way to get this franchise, you know, back back you know restore the glory restore the, the fun to it like i mean you know a guy like uh hutch you know the, those guys they came up playing these games and you know now all of a sudden they can't play it anymore but they don't want to say anything bad about Treyarch because Treyarch and machinima kind of get down together a little bit it seems like to me but whatever 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 so getting on to it talking about huge maps i mean you know what i'm saying do the maps need to be bigger do you guys want to play 6v6 on a map twice the size of a ray? Man, I don't know about that. And I hate to sound like I got a list of things that I'm bitching about because it's not really the case. But, uh, you know, I'm just saying these are these are things that piqued my interest. We're going to move on here. Invasion um, and a horde mode. And, you know, guys, I heard other commentators talking about this like they were excited about it. Uh, like it's a new thing. I don't know. You, did you guys not play Spec Ops in, in the last game? Uh, because I can tell you right now, there's a couple of those 
that basically that's what it is. You hold out as long as you can, you get as many kills as you can, you see how far you can get and how many stars you can get. I mean, but they're talking about having a ranking system and a ranking up system, the spec ops, and um, so, the, you know, that could be really cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with that. They're also talking about kamikaze dogs in this. I would be surprised if that's not some kind of a kill streak. I would be surprised if it's not. And then suicide bombers. Now nah, I'm gonna assume that's <clears throat> probably just gonna be something that's uh, that's in spec ops. I can't see dudes climbing into the maps and running after us um, after 18 kills. That would just be, or you know, whatever. That would just be crazy. <clears throat> and the next thing, excuse me. The next thing is this Call of Duty Elite. Uh, <laughs> This might be a problem. They might have messed up with this one because they're talking about being able to render and upload videos. And uh, the thing about it is to be able to do that, you get to buy their, their subscription. And they're saying it's going to be maybe a little less than a comparable service like Netflix. Well, you know what? Netflix is not a comparable service to that. Netflix has got tons of value. Uh, you know, the perceived value is a lot higher. People aren't going to buy into this if it's $6. If it's anywhere near $6, people aren't going to buy into it. Uh, just to get like more stats and stuff. I mean, there, there may be a hundred thousand people that do it. And, you know, I guess if it's worth you know less than a million dollars to you, then you know, good luck, congratulations, you succeeded. Otherwise, I don't think it's going to work out. But let me tell you guys, particularly any of you guys that post videos, and you, know, you see my man here get his blackbird and then get uh, uh, significantly more aggressive because we also looks like we've got a nice wind locked down. So. Uh, but anyway, the Call of Duty Elite thing, you know, they're talking about if you can render and upload through that uh, and they want you to pay to be able to do that, what does that sound like to you guys? It sounds to me like they are trying to stop videos from getting uploaded for free to YouTube, which means we're not going to be able to put this kind of content on YouTube any longer without a Call of Duty Elite subscription, or at least no MW3 video without a Call of Duty Elite subscription. Uh, they're also talking about some something to do with uh, downloadable content, something to do with like maps and so forth. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Like I've got to pay six dollars a month just to play on new maps. Now I don't know if that's the way it's going to be. Maybe you get early access. I don't know. I mean, a lot of this is still speculation. We're a week away from E3. I'm sure we'll get a lot more details at that. But you know, I, it, this it's it's not encouraging. It's not encouraging. It's now you know. I mean, I, I I'm not trying to like look at this in a selfish way and say, well, like they didn't they didn't do it the way I thought they should do it, so it's going to fail. But you know, you guys know as well as I do that uh, you know, people are going to hate that if they can't just record something on their PVR and put it on YouTube. So I, I, it just seems to me like that's a logical step to force people uh, to to use your service. It is to say, no, 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 copyright, copyright. You can't upload unless you're an elite member. Then again, this could just be their way to give the casual gamer a chance to upload. So either way, only time will tell. But uh, hey, I appreciate every single one of my subscribers, man. Love y'all. Dirty South, stand up. Gladius, stand up. Peace.